One top thing, which is also work like this, a Ferrari F50 S Cabriolet. Oh, right. And now all men get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are toys, really toys, but very precious toys. Okay. Okay. Every man's dream, Ferrari. <laughs> but I think the girls get more crazy about oh, the yes. Ferraris yes, than the men. <laughs> So we made a Ferrari F50, all in rock crystal quartz, cut out by hand, and that's very difficult. For example, for a jeweler to take um, a toy and to cast it in gold and to set some diamonds in, each stupid man can do it. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. But to work exact in scale with each detail out of one block of rock crystal quartz, there are only, oh, not even a handful in the world which are in position to do this. It's beautiful. And so this all is worked exactly in scale, out of one block of rock crystal, the whole carousery, with all details. The tires are rolling, so all is rolling here, oh, okay. on golden ball bearings, and the tires are in black onyx, exact Goodyear profile. Oh. <laughs> exact. With all the little details and the tires in, you can open the doors. Oh, wow. And inside, nice. the seats as well as the dashboard are out of ruby, one piece of ruby oh. and gold. The engine is worked in, in 18 karat gold and sterling silver, some diamonds here around, and even the number plates you can take off because of the owner wants from this car can make his own number in. Oh, wow. And you have a spoiler on the, the back. spoiler with diamonds, right. It's, it's very good for the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and how long did it take you to make this? Such a thing are around 1,000 working hours. Welcome back if you're just tuning in. Today I'm in Ada Elberstein, Germany, and we see uh, uh, white gold and diamonds. Hi, <laughs> <Mark. laughs> Or here I made also a darling of mine. I made a little frog says hello to you all in Michigan. Hello. Hello. And the little frog is out of solid gold. This is exceptional piece of a mandarin garnet. Not very often in the world you can find such a big mandarin garnet. And the eyes are diamond capuchons. Hello, Michigan. Hello, hello. <laughs> Rip it! <laughs> in this rock crystal frame with tourmaline flowers, there's a photo in of the main gift to Queen Elizabeth's birthday, 80th birthday. It was done in our house and um, all out of a ruby, a big piece of ruby. Here we have a revolving clock, 40 horses in gold are running around. You see, you see here's the sign of Elizabeth II royalty, yes. set with 680 diamonds. So a lot of our things are in the cabinets of the big people of this world. The Indian wedding elephant is carved out of a 8 kilogram aquamarine from Brazil in a very good quality which you can make facetted stones out of. And alone a rough like this is costing today at the mines in Brazil around a quarter million dollar. Wow. At the mines. And then we dressed him very fine with uh, one and a half kilos of gold with a ruby seed, finest rubies, diamonds, emeralds, 
and the ruby seed you can open, that is a ring at we. There's a very fine star sapphire ring in with two big diamond nuggets. And then he also dressed with emeralds and so on. And the pin here you can take out of the trunk and even wear. <laughs> that is the thing I do very often that I take uh, things in an object you can take out and wear as jewelry. So I like that the things are being seen, that you have fun yes, with, yes. nothing else. And so it is nice if you see the things, if they have still life. You cannot always bring the jewelry in, in a safe. The nice things has to be shown. Yes. So otherwise it wouldn't be gold at the street. And that's a nice way to propose to someone. Yes, marriage. right, right. Put the elephant there and then the open. Yeah, the, yeah opens the right. Seat and and has a ring, the ring. So that's a oh, ring. Yes. Right. Yes. That is what, what is, I always had in mind to bring such very interesting gags into pieces in to wear and to do this and to take some things out. Even here you can take out pins and pen and uh, uh, stickers and, and wear. That's very important. The Buddha egg in here. Oh. That all has around nine pounds solid of 18 karat gold. Ruby, lapis lazuli elephants, white gold elephants, rock crystal quartz, like a cut like egg out of one piece. But at the other side, it is cut like a lotus flower also. And here on top, 1,000 diamonds. And if you wind the elephants, the little white elephants, then the egg or the lotus flower opens for times. And inside is the until now largest, biggest ruby Buddha of the world. Oh Out of one piece of uh, Indian ruby from Mysore, so it's solid, you can take it off and then all dressed in gold. Normally such a piece has to stand alone in a museum in one room. So you see I have a lot of crazy ideas. It's beautiful, it's just beautiful. It's like so, so many surprises of something that you only need see. ideas, that's all. Yes. And that's a palm tree back there? Yeah. It's and Vegas, this, Vegas. this is a cup for it. And the three dice are three black onyx dice with white, uh, three black diamond dice. Three black natural diamond dice with white diamonds as as numbers. A lot of ideas. And you will see all the wonderful things at the museum in Ida. Uh, and you know that Ida, uh, Oberstein? Yes. You know where, uh, what great American was born there? Who is born in Ida? Oh. Who is born in Ida? Oh no, who, I'm gonna fail! Who is born in Ida? Bruce? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. He's oh, born wow. here in Ida. Okay. That's why he is so good. Yes. yes That's the whole yes. reason. That's why I love Bruce Willis so much. Right. Now, right. it's all coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's born here in the 50s uh, in Ida. Okay. Right. And he was living uh, in a, just rent in a little, little flat in uh, Ida up, up the hill. Was there, and there he had been born. Okay, so Mr. Famous Bruce Willis is from sure. Albertstein, Germany. Yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> All good things are coming from It is, from good here. things are coming from Ida Albertstein. To see it even on the special jewelry things and the special stones. So yes. it's the best part.
is one of the best parts here. It's beautiful. The yeah. houses are beautiful. The hills that I was watching. The uh, area here is very nice. Okay, now we start slowly to do something more for tourists or whatever, but before, especially also for, how do you call it, hitchhikers, for uh, walking. Uh, Hikers, yes. Because of the area is so wonderful and then and so lovely, huge wood and uh, then and surrounded this area is surrounded from the famous from the four famous wine rivers we have in Germany. We have half an hour to the river of from here to the river of the Mosel. We have 10 minutes to the River Na, with the good wine. We have less than an hour over to the River Rhine. And at the other side, at the border also to Luxembourg, the River Saar with the best Riesling wines. So we are, it must be a special place with precious stones. Yes. And, and wonderful wood and a wonderful area and uh, castles and things and then surrounded by the best wine rivers. I have to do some wine tasting before I leave. <laughs> yeah, not only tasting your wine, you have to drink. Drink? <laughs> I like wine. I am a wine drinker. You are a wine yeah, drinker? Yeah, right. Not a beer drinker, but a wine drinker? No, a wine drinker. Oh, right. Okay. Because of we know all the little farmers, here, the good ones. We know where is this wine best and so on. And especially the white wine, the Riesling, is still the best white wine of the world. It is no better white wine in the world than a good Riesling. Okay. And we have a, a coming back the so Riesling more and more again to the big people with good knowledge of wine. Maybe we'll take a trip out there. Yes, right. You yes. have to go to the River Mosel. <laughs> the area of Bancastle, this middle area is a wonderful wines. Okay. Wonderful things. And wine, to drink wine is so, uh, uh, for me, the day without wine. It's a lost day. It's a lost day. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> and only look for a good wine. And wine drinkers try drinking a good dry wine. And even our famous Johann Wolfgang Goethe yeah, has said he was also a wine drinker. Uh, all people which are a little bit crazy and uh, drinking a lot of wine, a good wine, <laughs> has said life is too short to drink a bad wine. That's why if I have a bad wine, I give it out and look for a good one. So Never drink a bad wine. you can just take sips and you know exactly what you're drinking? No, not exactly, because of uh, quite a lot of things are very near together. But I can really tell you that it must be a German white wine or whatever, or a Sancerre or whatever. And uh, can even say must be a Riesling. It could be from the River Nau or could be more. It's a little bit sweeter from the Rhine area. Yes, some experience I have after uh, making empty some hundred bottles of wine. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of wine. <laughs> no, I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm not an old man. I'm starting too late with such a thing. A brilliant man with yeah. brilliant ideas. Yes, <laughs> yes. This will, thank you so very much for inviting me out. You have been heartily welcome here. Thank you. It's one of my favorite things to, see, to make little girls be happy and smiling. Well, you should have made me smile today. <laughs> A beautiful smile yeah. of all the beautiful surroundings here. Hi, I hope you have enjoyed taking this wonderful journey with me through this beautiful country of Germany. Now it's time to pack up and head back to the United States. And as always, remember, whatever shared with BB, I'll make sure to share it with you. I'll see you next week. Good night. Cheers.